personally. So your home and all your your savings, all your all your other uh, assets and possessions are safe. You know? I think your uh, doors are open. That makes sense. Yeah. So, any savvy business person, even though they live and do business or have rentals in other states, will incorporate Corporate. here and then register their business, their LLC, to do uh, business in their home state. And the reason why they do that is because then they have protection under that laws, even though they may live and do business in California sure. and other states. So, it's, it's, it's the, well, we're the number two incorporating state in the country. Delaware's number one, where all the public companies are. So, you know, Microsoft, Google, sure. Berkshire, Hathaway, the, every public company is incorporated in Delaware because their laws are the best for big business. A lot of that, uh, what is it, for financial companies, though, I know that they go either Delaware or South Dakota, and the reason is because of the usury laws. Yeah, well, South, you, yeah, South, South Dakota, that has to do with banking, yeah. Yep. So South Dakota is the easiest, and North Dakota, they're the easiest to become a bank. It only takes five years to become a bank in those states, and Delaware is, is for public traded companies so my that's, sister tribe opened up a yeah what is it um credit union or bank or no it wasn't a credit union it was a uh whatchamacallit um where they sell payday loans and stuff they oh yeah two, two is that different. but that's not considered a bank is it i don't know that's a it's good a question. lending institution i know so that though, they, but it's also somewhat yeah. pred predatory though because like not for nothing though man like i'm there are no usury I'm laws in about it either no usury laws in about it at all oh, shit, really? yeah no no, so you can charge whatever you want in straight here. But every state's different. Like, we do a lot of private lending. We mm have -hmm. <clears throat> a lot of real estate investors. And so real estate investors, you know, you, you really generally don't go to a bank to get a six-month or year loan for real estate. They're, they're looking for long-term, you know, 10 years, 15, 20, 30-year mortgages. Mm -hmm. That's really where they make their money. So um, When I was so, a broker, though, I remember that we would you always... You a broker? Yeah. Yeah. I would sell to... Back in the good days, right? Oh, yeah. It was fucking wonderful. Yeah. But here, the thing was is that whenever I sold my very first <clears throat> first mortgage, and you're thinking, my job is to sell them the highest... Right. The highest interest rate, because the bank pays me on right. that, based yeah, on that. Yeah, it's not like that anymore, yeah. Not at all, though. And then, like, then loans become, like... Then you'd have closing fees and all that mm -hmm. shit. But things, what is it? Uh, Loan origination fees. Yep. <clears throat> I don't even know if they have those anymore. All so I know is they had ninja loans, no income, no yeah. verification, no yeah. job, no nothing, nothing. No, and if no. they had a high enough credit score, I was like, what in the... Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's... Um, that's what got us into trouble, right? You're right. I mean, I remember doing a jumbo loan, and at that time... Uh, hey, you're just like, I gotta make this much. It was right like, between... Oh, okay. Yeah. It, they were... If yeah. they had a 720 or above... Yeah. They could, that was a home run for them. They didn't have to have any documentation. Like, normally, if you were below a 720. They sold that debt up. You're right. Sold they did. it as good debt, you yeah. know. They did sell it as good debt. Yeah. They yeah. Sold, like, uh, what was it? Like, it's crazy, huh? That movie, The Big Short, it was amazing how they put it together, like how they put Jenga together, and they said, all right, the shit that doesn't sell, like, they just pack it, repackage it, and then sell it as, mm, yeah. like, and they just sell it as, like, like it's, it's they, crazy, man. You know, it's, the it's, financial it's, world is oh most my. people have no idea. None, works, none man. whatsoever. It's none. scary, to be honest. How, it is scary because something that big could slip through like that, you know? And a lot of people knew about it. They and just it was, turned to and it was government. Yeah. It was government bailouts. So it's kind of like Good Old Boys Association because you had government bailouts as opposed to because you had Bank of America, Wells Fargo, yeah. Chase, and uh, Citigroup. Well, you know, those four banks did most, not fail. Most people, unfortunately, whether they admit it or not, have a certain um, turn their shoulder number, you know? Yeah, I mean? they do. Like, like, all right, if it my becomes... morals and ethics are here, but you, but once we get to this number, I will turn my shoulder, you know. And this is the way it works, you know. It's just almost everybody's got some type of number, you know. And that's what happened, right? Everybody's like, well, fuck it, let's just ride this thing out. We'll worry about it then, you know. But that won't happen again. I think we're in think my we're... opinion. It's already happening. I'm only saying that because, like, I'm looking at the debt load. And I always laugh when people say our our uh, our green dollar, our U.S. Not, United States dollar, is not backed on the the gold currency. It's not backed by gold no, anymore. No, and I'm like, you're I always look at them and I say, you're absolutely right. Right. And they're like, 
well, then everything's going to crash. I'm like, no, it's backed on a damn Tomahawk cruise missile, Hellfire right. missile. I said, it's backed on the military right, because right. if we have an issue, whether it's right, whether it's wrong, we will go and clobber somebody else. Right. And as that's long as the military is strong enough, it doesn't matter what our dollar is. Right. And we basically back with, uh, what is it, the second largest uh, military, which I is... I can tell you, I never felt so comfortable in my life as having Trump president. I know most people don't like him, but I think he's great. I don't dislike him because I don't think... Here's why I dislike him. Because we're the ones, us natives, put us put him out of business. Yeah. And you I remember that movie, The Big Short, whenever they're talking yeah. about whenever unemployment goes down yeah. or unemployment goes up, yeah. that X amount of people die? Well, when treaty agreements, like we're not Americans. Right. Native right. people, we're not Americans. We have sovereign nations. We have reservations. Right. There's 566 tribes within the U.S., we have Is there that people, many? Yeah. Wow. 622 in Canada. My girlfriend and I, we're Shit. both native. She's from Canada. Uh, she's I'm from cool, here. Man. She's a really nice girl, by the way. But the one you have down here, right? Yeah. yeah she's really cool. She's actually coming down Monday, though. Yeah. She lives in I Canada. Like she's really, I can tell she's a really cool person. She, but we have peace treaties with the United States military and the Canadian government. So their treaty agreements with us say this that they have to give us food and they have to give us. And money. No, not they, money. They do give you no, any no. money, though. Right? I'll explain yeah. that. They have to give us <clears throat> food, and they have to give us adequate health care. That's really? what we. So you guys have health care. Yes. Indian government. Indian Health Services. Ah. The okay. IHS. And, okay. And how, how comparable is it to regular health care? It's terrible. It's is fucking it? awful. It's absolutely awful because like all the people like uh, that are cutting their teeth on yeah. like um, dentistry or like yeah. being a surgeon. That's where they go to start. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, let's wow. go fuck up these Indian people first. That sucks. But anyway, aside from that, whenever, um, when we have those treaty agreements, whenever they keep loosening our budget, like people keep saying, we give you this, like we, like your welfare recipients, it's like, no, you failed to realize this, that we rank number one in the United States military because we cannot create our own if we, if you want that, we can do that. But the truth is this, we're peaceful until there's a time not to be peaceful, but we run our own leaders. We run our own, we run our own jails. We have our own cops, our own judges. And most people don't grasp that concept because it just wasn't taught in American history or it wasn't taught because really they want us to phase us out because they don't want to keep paying the treaty agreements or none of that stuff. They, they want us we still control 25% of the natural resources. Our casinos did 32.4 billion. We still like. Yeah, the casinos are great. I think that's great that they let you guys do that. In North Dakota, Some like of the I've, Indian casinos are the best casinos around. The, the Hard Rock's owned by the Seminole Tribe of Florida, and most people don't know this. We cannot file Chapter 11 bankruptcy. We cannot because we're not a part of the United States Bankruptcy Code. We're not part of the, the system. We're our own sovereign nation. Drives a Cadillac, but fuck, this is nice. Oh yeah, this is CTSV. This is the this this car goes 200 miles an hour. No shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah. I love how the seatbelt just like clenches down. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this car's funny. What's that? It's got a yeah, it's a six inch. Same as the, the fastest car that they make. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> yeah the hundred. This thing will, will light them up. It's crazy, man. You can hear the supercharger. You hear it? Yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's fun. This thing doesn't. It does. You can tell it's some, like different when you look at it. You know, mm -hmm. if you look at the exhaust pipes, look at the tires, you can kind of in the, in the air. You can kind of go, wow, there's something different about that Cadillac. Let me tell you. If you really know cars, you'll know what it is, you know. But this is like the top, top, top of line cat like they make. That's cool, huh? Oh, it's amazing. I like it because it's it, if you want to drive it nice and it's just like a Cadillac, but if you want to go, it's it's a sports car, you know. The reason that I stay on the bus is because I stay like when you're a fighter, you have to live like one. Yeah. That's just my mentality. If I was like Rocky, I would still have my you know common sense like. If you have a recipe that's working, yeah. you stay with that. Um, but holy 
Holy shit. Yeah. What do they say about the, uh, is that a touch screen? This one? Yeah. No, 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 this. Uh, no, no this is. Uh, what do they say that goes out and warranty and all that stuff? 